Let me show you my favorite GoPro low light settings. Okay, so let's start with the resolution and frame rate. Uh, for the most part, I'm shooting in 4K 24 frames per second. Sometimes when I want uh, to have some slow-mo effect, I'm shooting in 4K 60. Now, there isn't really a better setting when it comes to resolution and frame rates for low light performance. But I would say the higher the resolution, the higher quality of the video that you will get. So if your computer can handle 4K footage from your GoPro, then definitely shoot in 4K to get the best quality possible. But when it comes to frame rates, you can choose whatever you want, 24, 30 or 60. Now for the field of view, it's basically the same thing as the resolution, it's personal preference. Personally, I would shoot most of the time in wide field of view unless I am doing action sports. If I'm doing something that involves action sports, I would use super view, but for the most part, it's either linear field of view or wide. Stabilization, I leave it on or automatic on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Pro Tune, obviously on. Shutter speed, very, very important. Like I mentioned many times in my videos, my shutter speed is always double the frame rate. So if I'm shooting in 24 frames per second, my shutter speed would be 1 over 48. If I'm shooting in 60 frames per second, my shutter speed would be 1 over 120, and so on and so forth. So now I'm in 4K 24 frames per second, I'm gonna choose one over 48. Not only to have the most natural motion blur, but also to lock the exposure as much as possible so the exposure won't change when you're shooting in low light conditions because when you see these sharp, fast exposure changes when you're filming your videos, it looks extremely unprofessional. EV compensation is not available because I have manually set my shutter speed and for the white balance, I usually set mine somewhere between 3200 Kelvin and 4500 Kelvin. Depends on the scene. I usually look at the screen and what looks most natural, that's what I use. But usually when I'm shooting in low light conditions, it's somewhere between 3200 Kelvin and 4,500 Kelvin, but I would say always check that the colors on the back screen are what you're seeing in real life. So play around with the white balance and just set it to some number that looks as much as possible as what you're seeing with your eyes. Now for the most important setting when it comes to low light shooting, ISO minimum and ISO maximum. I would say never ever go above 1600 ISO on your GoPro camera, unless you really need more light, then you can use 3200 ISO, 6400 ISO, but only in extreme situations. If you wanna get the best image quality possible in low light conditions with your GoPro, I would say never ever go above 1600 ISO, maybe even 800 ISO, just to reduce the noise as much as possible and to get, and to get the most clean image possible out of your GoPro. Another important thing is to lock your ISO so the exposure won't change sharply on your GoPro and look unprofessional. What I usually do is I arrive to my location where I want to shoot my video with my GoPro and then I look at the back screen and start playing around with the ISO settings. So for example, I'll go to ISO minimum 400 and ISO maximum as well 400. I'll see on the back screen if it's enough exposure or not. If it's enough, then I'll leave it 400 and 400. If it's not enough, I'll bump my ISO minimum to 800 and I'll see if that's enough. And again, my ISO minimum will be 800 and ISO maximum will be 800. That way the GoPro won't really change the exposure and make the footage look unprofessional. And again, if it's not enough, I'll bump up my ISO even more to 1600 and so on and so forth. Now I want to show you the picture quality difference between 400 ISO, 800 ISO, 1600 ISO, 3200 ISO, and 6400 ISO, so you'll be able to see why I do not recommend going over 1600 ISO 
on GoPro cameras. Now for the sharpness, I'm using medium sharpness setting because I don't want to have not enough sharpness and at the same time, I don't want to have too much sharpness. As for the color, I'm using most of the time in low light conditions, the GoPro color because I don't think it's necessary to use the flat picture profile when you're shooting in low light conditions because it's not really contrasty. When you're shooting in low light, you don't have the high contrast between light and darkness when you're shooting in low light. So it's not really necessary to shoot in flat picture profile, in my opinion, in low light conditions. So that's why I just leave it at GoPro because it's easier to work with and it looks great in my personal opinion. And there you have it. These are my best GoPro low light settings. In a couple of hours, GoPro is going to release their upcoming GoPro Hero 9 action camera. And hopefully with that camera, we're gonna get better low light performance, better image quality, better stabilization and some other fancy features. I am definitely going to buy the GoPro Hero 9. So if you're interested in content about the GoPro Hero 9, make sure to subscribe and enable the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. And I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And I guess I will see you in my next one. Peace out.